Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here and we back with some UFC 2 career mode. I'm going up against Rashad Evans tonight for the light heavyweight belt. It's about to go down in the octagon, man. I'm about to show you guys what these middleweights got, man. My punching power is literally on par with heavyweights, man. And I'm going to prove it to you guys tonight, man. I'm about to knock this dude, slam out. I might even head buddy one time. But let's go ahead and skip to him real quick, man. Show what he's all about. All-American wrestler. Good takedown defense and excellent submissions. Well, guess what? This fight ain't going to the ground. The only person that's going to be touching this canvas tonight is you. And it's definitely going to be on your back, my man. Let's see what his uh, his little intro is. Okay, he's crawling into the ring. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, B-boy. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. You're still going to get knocked out. I don't care what you say. And what are you doing? You're doing a running man challenge? Okay, okay. We doing a running man challenge now. All right. But uh, he's 43 years old, dead already. 5'11", 205. He has a 75-inch reach. Hey, that's all right with me, man. Let's go ahead and skip right into this fight, man. Show you guys what it's all about. I'm going to show you what a real commentary tastes like. Yeah, man, you about to get the whole thing. All of it. Pause. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't, nah. Why even touch mitts, bro? Like, come on. Like, UFC ain't automatically got you to make you, put your hand out like, yeah, bro. Pound it up. Pound it up. Look, here we go. Pound it up. One time. One time. That's all. Now, these uppercuts, I'm going to let you know now, man. My uppercuts are deadly, man. I'm going to just go ahead and show y'all what I get into. I ain't going to get a video away. I'm going to let you know now, man. Uppercuts are crazy. But I just want to fill him out, see what type of punching power he has. Now, hit me with a nice hook there. It didn't do much. He does like to parry and move around and throw a lot of shots. And look at the head damage from the kicks. Didn't nobody say nothing about this man kicks. Now, he's trying to find the aim to get me because I do have a lot of head damage. Now, if he would have hit me with one of those kicks or swings that he was throwing, he might have knocked me out. But I'm here now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm here with the cap away to kick. Now, I do like to fill a couple people out. You know what I'm saying? I like to put them up against the cage. Give them a little bit of that knee damage. A little bit of elbows and fists. You know, just give them a little something. Just filling them out. Seeing how much damage they can actually take from the king. Now, everybody knows that I'm the clinch king out here in these streets, man. If I'm not clinching, something wrong with me, man. I might be having an off day. I might be sick. You never know. But right now, we're going through the transition. Got to try to put him back in a tie, and he's not letting me do it, man. He's he's definitely good at the clinch. So you know what I'm going to do, man? I'm going to go ahead and try to break after this single collar because I don't believe in this dude, man. I don't think I can get him into another tie clinch. So you know I'm going to just block a transition, get him into one, and uh, right up out of that, right up out of that. Now, I will say, man, the dude can hold his own in this clinch. So, I'm going to try a couple more ties, man. See what I can do. And, up, oh, finally, he breaks it off, man. Now, when did this dude learn to switch kick in his repertoire? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But I tried to hit him with one of my famous uppercuts. Didn't work right there, and it didn't work again. Now, I'm trying to throw this uppercut, and I'm telling y'all, I'm going to get my behind knocked out trying to throw this uppercut. But I gave him a cap away that he definitely blocked it. He didn't parry at that time, but it's all right, man. You know what it means when a person doesn't parry? It means that the stamina is starting to get lower. He doesn't know what to do. And give him a couple little body kicks, and I'm saying keep his stamina down. Now, you guys notice his energy bar is down crazy. All he is doing is moving and throwing shots. Like, he's not really doing any blocking. Look at him. Why is he moving so much? Hey, yo, my man, stay off that crack. My fault. That's John Jones. Um, But, yeah, like I was saying, nice little uppercut. Yeah, I told y'all. I told y'all it was going down, baby. Laid him down. I told y'all the uppercut was coming. All I had to do was land with the uppercut again, man. And it's over. It's over. Look at this jab. Cross. Oh my god, he melted. He melt look at him. Lean back. And lean back. And lean back. And I hit him on the way down. Listening. He was dead. He was dead immediately. Like they already knew that they needed the smelling sauce. As soon as I hit him with that cross, the smelling sauce guy was like, finally! Finally I get to do my job. But uh, look at him, got all that champ gear on. Come on, bruh. We're going to go ahead and strip you with all that champ gear. Reebok is no longer sponsoring you. You might as well retire from the USC because you know what it is, man. The king is finally a champion in the middleweight and light heavyweight division. I wish I could move up to heavyweight because these hands are something serious. 
Just imagine if I moved down in two weight classes from where I am right now. I would body these cats. I don't care how fast these dudes punch, kick. One punch knockout would be the thing of like, I don't know what I would do. Like, go in the octagon, dab them real quick. Like, hey, what's up? Then punch the shit out of them in the chin and win the fight every time. And I still won't get no knockouts of the night. Because guess what? EA don't like your boy. You know what I'm saying? EA be hating on my fight of the nights, man. Fight of the nights, knockouts of the night. I don't know what I got to do to get these things. But checking out the statistics, I only landed 12 significant strikes. And it was still a body. We almost threw the same amount of punches, but guess what? Mine's are more accurate. Now, y'all know what I like to do, man. I like to run a couple replays back, man. Melt. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at Did you see that? Look at this dude. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Had to hit him on the way down. God, you have to hit him on the way down. I don't care if it's a capoeira kick. I don't care if it's a Brazilian kick. I don't care if it's an elbow. You have to hit these dudes on their way down, man. But, hey, look. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. This is your boy, IKC, signing out. I'm going to see you guys in the next stream or in the next video. I'll be in the comment section. Peace. Don't forget to like. Some dudes win, a few dudes lose. Nobody want to be a fan anymore. Niggas get too cool. Get it? Jump in the books like the Blue's Clues do. Can't pay my bills with all these YouTube views. I'm trying to make a difference. Niggas savage like there ain't no jail. You killed her son, she know who did it. Think she ain't gonna tell? And that's murder, so there ain't no bail. So you stuck into...